G'day viewers, well, Jake uh, introduced a new and improved Jacob's Letter Kit Mark III which drives one of these more efficiently, better, with more power and adjustable frequency driven, driven by an IGBT which is one of these, well, well look at this one here Now that's the a, that's a rig this one here is the RGBT it uses the brighter and that, uh, where is it, the chip that goes in there the J car reorder number over the top of the original number. The, the, the brains of the circuit set. RGBT it uses is a Fairchild DC41 AF. You can come with this little case, you can stick it in much smaller than the original one. Got the set of Mark II. It's got a mark to holes and the uh, yeah, we can uh, start assembling this thing. Get me soldering on, heat it up. This thing will also drive flybacks too, because it's got some better, uh, better protection inside it. I like the other one. I actually lately popped it because it's um yeah, it's got no protection. I switched it a little bit too fast, and yeah, I popped it. So I got this in here, which is much, much better. I think I can somehow incorporate a taco under this. I might do that. Incorporate a, um, a rev taco in this so we can uh, see the engine RPM on this uh, thing. We we'll set it then. All right, let's uh, start uh, assembly. Okay, viewers are ready to test. Let's back this fuse in and connect it up. There's not really much involved in this one. Okay, viewers, I had a very bad connection here. One of my uh, leads I was using as an extension lead had 12 volts at one end. On the other clip, at the other end, I only had 1.4 volts. That lead's buggered. Eh, not even very warm. Let's adjust the frequency on it. There we are. Works quite well. That's um, it works quite well. I gotta um, put it in the case and it should be all complete. Sweet. Okay, viewers, I got this little thing working quite well now. For some reason, I powered it up in the last take, and the original 10 ohm resistor just blew. I put this uh, 3 watt one in, and it works quite well. But I gotta put a larger heatsink on this uh, uh, MOSFET. Uh, Oh, sorry, RGBT, for some reason it gets a bit warm. I did a quick test of the flyback. And yeah, pulse that alright. While I was having some fun, I just, uh... Because the uh, coil's got the coil packs protected by a fuse. Yeah. Having too much fun, and yeah, I blew the fuse. 10 amp fuse. <coughs> the circuit's okay, they say. I also picked up one of these, little uh, square wave uh, gener uh, square wave generator. I can drive, I think this should be able to drive hard drive motors, so the other types of stepping motors as well. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah. Hmm, something's stuck in my throat. So we've got one to 50 hertz, 50 to kilohertz, and this one here goes at the 200 kilohertz. These sets of pins here. So I just put that jumper on the end. Positive in, negative out, uh, positive in, negative in, and out you put it in circuit with say uh, maybe your flight back or something. It's only a low power little thing, but if I can uh, switch an, uh, an IGBT or something with it, I reckon it'd be quite uh, handy. If I can pick up a nice big IGBT brick, I reckon this would be a good driver for it, because this will generate anything that I want just by changing the little uh, taps on that jumper. So I can drive anything from that to one of those. Providing I have this driving something that can uh, handle the power. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll put that aside. I'll fix this up and give it another test on the ignition coil. And one of these um, adjusts the frequency. The other one adjusts the, um, the dwell. It's quite a good little circuit, actually. It has less components than the previous one. Yet to uh, cut the holes and mount it into its enclosure. <coughs> but for some reason, this is getting a bit too hot. Might try a different coil pack. This and it could be partially shorted for some reason. 
Yeah, we'll see what happens with another coral pack. Okay, if you want to give us a test. Reps quite well, apart from Ark and Avatar itself. Made spark plug boots. It's Ark and Avatar itself. It's not too warm either. Oh, it's good, it's working quite well. Alright, now I've got to, um... Hmm... Let's try something else. Okay, have you also got this recycled connector here from a TV board? Positive, negative and out. So, you've got your ground which goes to your motor, and negative, your motor goes in that circuit there. It works quite well, this little thing. I could have found something I could pulse, maybe yeah. I reckon the RGBT idea might work. A pulse on RGBT and then it would drive a flyback or something. Alright, let's uh, have a look at this circuit. I'll set the tripod up here, we can have a look. We can do some, uh, have some spark action going on. This little thing works quite well. Alright, I'll adjust the frequency and everything there. Adjust the drill angle. The circuit's happy running this. Maybe the coil packs are up. That's a drill angle there, that one. Okay. I'm going to hook up a car tack over this. See if I can get any RPM idea. How much revs the engine is doing. The circuit. Yep, everything's quite happy on there. Oh, it's good. Nothing's complaining. Nothing's too warm. Nice and sparky. Spark plug is working quite well. Good little uh, ignition coil pack test of this little driver. Yep, that's still cold. RGBT is happy. This thing's running quite well now. What is uh, Sparky as the other driver was there? The, RGP, the RGBT is happy, and that one's just as happy. Sweet. Working quite well, this little circuit.
Oh, I've got a good little uh, VN, VN, VS Commodore ignition pack coil tester now. And what I'll get this done when I get some spare time, I'll, I'll um, cut the holes and mount it in its enclosure. And I'll add a heat sink, a heat sink compound to that um, IGBT to help it keep cool. I might even um, stick an extra heat sink on it or something on the outside to try and help that keep cool. Be a good little uh, coil tester. Working quite well, that. A close look at the circuitry. That's the range of the circuit there. Pretty simple. This must be um ignition, uh, ignition proper ignition driver circuit, and they've just modified it to act as this type of a uh, setup, so you can just use it as a Jacobs letter setup. I suppose they've other links going here, and other components, but they're not used on this uh, on this project. There you go. It's got a four megahertz suntan crystal, also uh, to oscillate it. Obviously the uh, regulator doesn't really do any work, so that doesn't need a heat sink. It's not even bloody warm. It's only got to provide power to run that, so... Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.